Science Vlogmas Day 18. Now we are seriously counting the last days until Christmas. And last time we got a dog that I believe is from Lady and the Tramp. Eight. My daughter likes to put them back in their slots. <laughs> All right. Where's 18? Right here. Okay. The tiny box. Ready. It's a tiny box. This time around we got Cinderella in her blue outfit. Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 18, and for today's video, since there's only very few Vlogmas days left, um, my Vlogmas will end on the 24th, I believe I will film my last video, and then of course the next day is Christmas. Um, I'm really not sure like if Vlogmas is supposed to go to the end of the month or not, but that's how I'm doing Vlogmas this year, and how I did it last year, but for this video, I want to cover, I want to start covering my goals. So for this video, I'm going to cover my booktube slash reading goals for 2018. Um, and as far as like my personal goals, I'm going to put that in another separate video that you will see very soon. But for this video, I'm covering my booktube and reading goals for 2018. So let's go ahead and get into the list. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my reading goal. So last year for 2017, my goal was to read more than I than I read the prior year, which was like a hun over 100 books. Um, but this year, I'm going to have that same goal of reading more than I did the prior year for 2018. So that means um, since I didn't have a very good reading year this year, I mean, in order to meet that goal, I only have to read over 30 books read and complete over 30 books so I think that's absolutely a doable goal for 2018 and if I so meet that early on I will definitely up the goal. Um, I think on my good reads I'll go ahead and set it at 50 but really my personal goal is just to read more in 2018 than I did in 2017 um, and actually complete the books. In 2017 I did a lot of reading but not a lot of completing um, of the books. And as far as reading is concerned, I've decided that I want to use the library more than I purchase books to own. Um, so can I, am I putting myself on a book buying ban? No, I am not. But as far as like the amount of books I'm reading, I want to be able to complete and read more library books than I am buying books from like Barnes and Noble and Book Outlet, even though those places are like my two favorite places. Does this mean that I'm gonna stop going to Barnes and Noble? Absolutely not. You know that I love that place. I love the atmosphere. So I'm instead of buying like a handful of books from Barnes and Noble, maybe I'll just buy one, one each trip, you know? And then as far as the rest of the books that I'll be reading that month, I have the intentions to solely use the library. No, but I am starting to see this trend on booktube that more and more people are starting to utilize the library more. They might not necessarily say it on their channel, but I notice like when they're doing a wrap up or they have like a little bit of a haul, um, they are library books. Like I can tell by the dust, the plastic dust cover that's on the book. Um, and I'm really proud of that. I absolutely feel we should utilize our libraries more. There was actually a thread on Twitter that went around, I think a couple months ago, where some guy said something to the extent like, oh, who needs libraries? Nobody uses that anymore. And all these people tweeted back at him, essentially saying, speak for yourself. I go to the library all the time. But I think that can be a whole nother video in itself, like libraries and, and the perception some people have of libraries. Um, I think I'll go ahead and make a mental note of that for a future video. All right, for 2018, I also want to participate in readathons again. Um, the beginning of last year, I did really well with readathons and I was having a lot of fun, but somewhere along the lines, I just totally dipped and could not get myself to participate in a readathon um, and just could not be organized enough or determined enough to participate in more readathons last year. So for next year, my goal is to participate in readathons and I'm doing the goal of participate in more readathons this year than you did last year. I don't even exactly know how many I participated in last year, but um, I'll just make the general goal three readathons, even if it means those readathons are ones that I have to like make myself and it's like a participant of one, then that's what it will be. 
So those are like my reading goals. So as far as my booktube goals, as far as like the bookish videos that I want to make, I definitely want to do more book commentaries. That is something that I tried for the first time in 2017 where I read a book and kind of provided my feedback as I was reading the book. I thought that was really fun and I kind of like having that footage of me reading this book and my reaction towards it. So um, I thought it was really fun. So if you have any recommendations of what books you want me to commentate on, if you want like a, a popular YA novel, a popular science fiction novel, you know, leave it down below in my comments and I will add it to my Rolodex of um, possible books to commentate on. Every time I film, like the neighbor decides to take a shower. It doesn't matter what time I film. It could be eight o'clock, seven o'clock, in this case, it's like almost 11 p.m. and then they're like, let's time to shower. So, so I'm gonna wait a little bit while that noise dies down a little bit. So as far as booktube is concerned, I definitely want to participate in more bookish discussions. I participate in discussion topics, but I, I don't think I participate too many in book discussions. So that's something that I do want to get myself into and hopefully there will be some interesting discussions come 2018 so looking forward to that looking forward to participating in the community more all right and one of my goals for booktube slash reading is to comment on twitter more um i follow a lot of booktubers on twitter and i'm very much that lurker that will read, go scroll through and read the tweets, but I rarely will comment. If anything, I will leave hearts on people's um, tweets, but I rarely comment back. So that's something I wanna change as well, is to participate again in the community more by leaving comments, even if it's something like, have a great day or something simple, you know? Sometimes when I scroll Twitter, I just don't have anything to say. I don't have anything to say out loud, but yeah. Who knows and for my last goal for 2018 and this is one that I mentioned several times but I apologize if I'm being redundant so my goal for 2018 is to read my physical TBR of the books that I own um, read the books and filter out those ones that I don't really like and to donate them and then just have a handful of books that I really love and enjoy so yeah those are my bookish slash reading goals for 2018 please let me know your feedback down below what is your main goal for 2018 as far as reading and booktube is concerned um yeah so thank you for watching and i will see you later